enter the saloon after dark. Ooh, what the heck? Wow, Gus. A private dinner in your back room? You play the music for us? Thanks, Gus. That was great. Set the mood. I haven't dined in here before either. Did we? Did you plan this, Alex? Oh, he did. Oh, look, he's blushing. Is he breaking up with me? Linguini with mushroom cream sauce. I want the grilled steak. <sighs> I want the grilled steak. I mean, the linguine is okay, but I would like the steak. I love you. Same way about you. Come too far to back out now. You're gonna say I love you? <laughs> what? <laughs> the dog trying to get in to get the steak. Well guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Stardew Valley. I'm not sure if that's just a special event that happens between players when you reach 10, 10 hearts, or if that was the 10 heart event with Alex. Either way, rain is coming tomorrow, and we will be able to propose to him um, without really any issues, hopefully, um, because the Mariner will be in town. So I'm going to run back, head to sleep, we'll head down there in the rain, and then I'm, depending on how that goes... I'm also going to take some time tomorrow to fish for the legendary fish, which I believe I can catch in the rain. Um, and maybe go into the mines to do some artifact hunting there, because according to the internet, I might have better luck there. I'm just not having the luck on the surface. I found a couple more artifacts, but they're just all dang repeats. And it is, frankly, a little frustrating, just because it's purely luck involved with artifacts. You know, there's no skill at all. So we'll have to see how all of this goes. Um, but yeah, first we're just going to head to sleep, and it's also going to check the cart lady, so we'll do that, loop down to the beach, and maybe we'll have a lucky day. Maybe we will, the last couple days of spring before summer arrives. And then I have to hunt for the other fish, and we get our other crops, but the important thing is, lots of pollen tomorrow, what is our luck today? A little extra luck. That'll be nice. Three days left in the month. But the good news is we get some rain. Um, 15, 1, 2, 3. Um, I'm just going to drop these in real quick. I've kind of stopped paying attention to most things on the farm at this point. Um, I mean, I occasionally, I check this to get this harvested and those. But you can see I haven't really checked much else. Um, and, you know, I'll do this off-screen later tonight. But I'm also not worried because it's little bits of money, and uh, we've kind of completed all of that. So it's really just, at this point, wait and see <clears throat> for these other regions. You know, I'm not too focused on this at the moment. So I just have to sacrifice this stuff in order to get the other things done. So, you know, if it means not really checking stuff with the crops, focusing on making money, not too big of a deal to me. So, cart lady. Wine, melon. Seeds. Dang. Oh, she got two rare seeds today. That's a, that's a rarity. <laughs> Dorado. Well. Uh, another visit by her. 
another lack of coffee beans. I swear one of the other people I'm watching that was doing a Let's Play, man, it's like every other time they visit there's coffee beans there, but you know me and the luck. Alright, to the beach. We'll have the mariner. I don't know if it costs money. I want to say it's going to cost me like 25,000 G or something, but it might not cost anything. I might have to bring him an item. And I hope I don't have to bring him an item that I have to go hunt for because then that would be very frustrating because I'm going to have to wait a long time if that ends up being the case. Let's watch it suddenly be like crazy rare or something that I just hadn't sold like in the last scene. All right, there's the Mariner, the ghost of the Mariner. Old Mariner. Ah, I can see it in your eyes. There be a special someone in your heart. Just so happens I'm selling a mermaid's pendant. Give that to your intended and they'll know exactly what you mean. Oh, good, 5,000 G. Mermaid's pendant. So this is like the engagement ring. I guess they wear this around their neck. Well, let's go find our boy, Alex. He's probably working out or standing out in the rain with his dog. So we'll go give this to him, and I wonder if the ceremony happens right away, or we plan a date for it. We shall see. Maybe he's in his room. He might still be asleep. Oh, he's right there. Let's talk to him normally first. I look sporty today. Thank you. You look really happy. Here you go, buddy. Oh! Exclamation point, exclamation point. I accept! I'll set everything up. We'll have the ceremony in, ooh, in three days. <laughs> Aw. All right. Well, have some honey, you grouch. I'm just, I'm going to marry your grandson. How about you, Evelyn? Here. All right, well, I shall return in three days' time. Um, for now, I'm going to go up and try and see if I can catch a legendary fish. And if I can see it, then I'll record a couple clips, and of course, if we catch it. Um, but I have everything ready to do that. So I'm not even sure if you can catch it, because the internet, some things on the internet say it's only spring. Sometimes some people say it's year-round, but it's guaranteed that it's only in the rain. And then some of them say, they all say, in the rain, level 10, but some say you have to catch all the other fish first, so... Not really sure. We're just gonna try our darndest here. I'm gonna eat some of this. Give ourselves an extra little boost. We got the trap bobber on, we're level 10. I can't really make this any any higher. Let's just see if we can see it real quick. And then we shall go from there. Maybe. Yes, this is gonna take some time. Well, I found one. But it is a rather challenging fish to catch, as they normally are, until you get lucky. And they do something like that at the top. <laughs> ah! Wow. See, I, I just think they're impossible. Like, they're so random. that like the glitch. It's impossible to catch. And I just, I don't know how to get good at the randomness, other than just, like, sticking in one direction. I mean, it just, it purely comes down to luck. It really does. Especially at the start. Like, if you can do... You can get some points at the start, and you do much better. So then you get this fish, and it's, like, totally, completely different. And then it's, like, it's really hard to not stay at the top. And, God, my clicker's messed up sometimes. Sometimes it just, like, gets stuck up, and I can't get it down. Oh, God, this is horribly frustrating. I don't want to make you guys sit through this. But the good news is the Internet was right and wrong. I can, uh... You don't have to catch all the fish to catch a legendary. You do just have to be level 10, and it has to be raining. So. Ooh! A new artifact! At least we got a little bit of luck. Awesome. I didn't know that was one we could get from fishing, but good to know. Maybe we'll have some luck with the legendary fish now. Wow, this is a lot of chests for not using the chest bobber. I swear I used the chest bobber, and I'd get... I've had three chests, and I would get, like, one from just using it. So... All right. Bum, 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 bum. Oh. Come on, one more try on camera, and then I'll go back to minding my own business. Oh, 
Aw, shoot. Lots of chests, man. Our luck must be really rocking and rolling today. Oh, I thought that was another new artifact, but apparently we have that one already. Ready and... Ready and... There we go. Oh, no rare one. So, three days time. Let's see how far away that is. So, I'm guessing maybe it's either the last day of this month or the first day of summer. It'd be nice if we got married on the first day of summer. Wouldn't mind that as a wedding date. Come on. There we go. Yeah, so when it goes random like that, you just kind of kind of stay in one direction, like either up or down and just hold it there. So at least you don't lose anything as it like goes in and then it goes out and goes in and then it goes out. And then you just hope that when it stops for a second, it stops on the side that you are, which is either up or down. And up is easier to get it to, but down is harder to, to keep it in, if that makes sense. Like, it's harder to get it to down, but it's easier to keep it there. It, you know. But it's easier to get it. Oh, and we got a bubbler spot. Ooh, dang, this is perfect. Alright, I'm going to do some fishing, and I'll, uh, I'm going to basically fish until it's 8 p.m. when this fish goes away. And I'll let you guys know how we fare. I caught it! Ah! The legend is ours! And we get a bonus chest. Oh my gosh. Well, I, I probably missed like three or four other ones. I remembered I could press E to like speed it up and just like release the fish. And then I realized I need to eat a, a trout to make it easier. There it is, the king of all fish. They said he'd never be caught. Ah, that was exciting. And... I only caught it because I got really lucky at the start, because, you know, you start with that extra boost, and it was kind of floating there, and then I picked the right direction to stay, and then it came back, like, it flew up and down, and then it stayed down where I had stayed, and good. It ended quite well. So, I don't know if the museum's still open. If it closes at 4 or 5, I'd like to bring that sword by, and otherwise, we will be going to sleep, <laughs> because there's nothing to do until summertime. Sunday, I'll check the cart lady, and then summertime we have a bunch of stuff that happens, so I'm not going to do anything until then. I bet you would close at four. Oh no, it's still, it's open. Perfect. Alright, another one in our midst. So... I need that other doll, and this one I know I need to go underground for. One of these I might have to go to the desert for, so. Here we go, marching along. I knew the rare disc was the one you got from fishing, so I, that was the one I, went, I was waiting for. But um, if I was able to catch this one, then I can definitely catch the summer fish. And, or actually, maybe it's the glacier. Yeah, the summer fish, and then this is the hardest one to catch, so we'll have to wait and see how that one turns out. All right. All right, I'm going to head home. And I'll catch up with you guys as summer approaches. Oh, before that, insert something in between because I needed something to do in my day here. Um, we're going to go ahead and spend 200000 and buy this furniture catalog so we can decorate an adequate house. Um, and because I just want to see all the furniture and I, I never come here regularly. So um, we're going to go ahead and buy it because I, I, mean, I think it's worth the money and we making plenty left. And, you know, not every item. Some of them are rather rare. And you get them specific ways, of course, doesn't give you that. But the general stuff you'd buy at that store, um, that gets recycled on a daily basis, it has. So we're going for sure check it out. We'll go pop this inside real quick. And we'll see what it does. A bunch of chairs. Maybe some of these we've never seen before. Ooh, the stump seat's neat. Some benches. The armchair couches, all in different colors. Some dressers. A 
tables. Ooh, sun and moon. <laughs> Pokemon. Um, bunch of different tables. More tables. Some decorative things for the house, which these are things I'm looking for. That'd be good for the house. Ooh, little things for the tables. Very good. The decorative lantern is neat. You know, we're going to take some of those and put that in that underwater room. Bunch of house plants. Very cool. Oh, and the end tables. Some of these will be nice. The tree. Oh, another. I guess I can take some of these lamps. It doesn't look like there's very many options with the lamps. Box lamp? Sure. And all the paintings. Oh, floor rugs, and then a, a whole bunch of paintings. Ah, cold. Oh, and we can actually buy the windows. That's also good to know that we can do that. Oh, more rugs. Boarded up window. Anchor. Oh, portholes. We need some of those for that other room. World map. More windows. Oh! I didn't know we had that for Christmas. There's some cool furniture. Ceiling flags, calendar, TV. Wow, that's some uh, really neat furniture that I wish we knew about. Let's see, let's. Oh, that can't be placed on a wall. These are table things. Well, we can go ahead and replace some of this now by getting rid. This is turning into some house decorating. <laughs> Didn't think that was going to happen this episode, but I'm glad we got this. There we go. Perfect. Let's see, the portholes can go. Oh, Jesus, that's bright. Right on the baby's bed. That's exactly what we want, right? I could almost put one more, like, down at the end here. Uh, they're not very symmetric. It kind of bothers me, but... <sighs> For now, this is a good start, right? We'll hang that above the bed so that it'll fall on them. Um, this lamp might work very well in this corner over here, and I think it does. So I can get rid of that, I think. And we'll have enough light. Um, I, this light string is awesome. We're just gonna like place this in our kitchen for now. Or I guess I can place it in here for now, just to see what it looks like. With the tree. And of course, Christmas has just kind of happened in real life, so... Kind of already missed out on that. And it's not winter in the game, but when winter comes, we can always, you know, decorate things up. So another lamp. And then this thing can go... We'll, like, put this in our basement, probably. Speaking of which... And no luck. <laughs> okay, so next up is the cart lady, then it's summer. Hey, there's a full moon. I'm glad I bought that furniture uh, thing because I'll really be able to decorate now and I think it's worth the money. And we have a thunderstorm today, which I totally forgot was going to happen. So I'm just going to hang out so I can get some more batteries. I already got a whole set of batteries from another storm, which will make it really nice um, because we need to make some more lamps. I realize we're already out of lamps. We've got mail. Oh, thanks, Marnie. Um... We already got... I need just need to make more lamps to light up town. So, I'm going to go ahead and, you know... Jimino, oh, the Jiminos harvest in the rain? It does not look like they do. I think I remember reading that somewhere. Which is, you know, fine. Fine by me. Uh, how much are we at? Oh, we got plenty. So, I'll be able to... I'm going to do some more decorating off-screen on the house, and I'll kind of show you guys a final touch. Uh, especially because we're going to have... Oh, wow, that struck right there. Uh, because we're going to have another room get additioned and some outdoor decorations get put in when we do have the marriage, uh, then I'll do some more, you know, house rearranging when that happens. So I think I'm just going to wait off until that occurs, so then I can kind of see how that's going to work out and what it looks like, and then maybe build things off of there. Um, she's good that she's open first thing in the morning, but she does close at night. Um, battery pack, stone, super meal. We're just going to buy one of those because for the heck of it, that looks cool. Oh, 
three freaking tulips and no uh, and not worth buying furniture ever from any of these people because we get it for free from our house the only furniture that's worth buying is the stuff you either earn or the stuff we get from out of town so this is also the last day of spring which isn't you know a big deal I don't have to do any special clean up around town it's just gonna get covered again um, so I think I'm just gonna wait because I kind of like how things are starting to grow in, and I'll harvest all this stuff in the fall. I'm going to let it keep growing so we can have a big supply for the winter. And really, at this point, I guess there's something up here to dig, maybe? There is. Hidden behind my shed. And it's just clay. Wow, lovely. All right, folks. The very last day of spring... That has been a wrap, and I think it's time for us to take on summer. Get two more items shipped off from our trees. Are they in summer or are they fall crops? I can't remember, but I'm going to hope that they're summer. And they might be fall now that I think about it. And we'll go from there. I think that's a pretty fair bet. Huh? How does that sound to you? Sounds good to me. It's very strange. Horses can only go through two wide areas, except they can go through f fence gates, which, when leading into one right area, it's so silly. All right, I'll leave these to be. Oh, I gotta harvest these myself because they're gonna go away tomorrow. So I'm gonna do that and then go stop. That is going to be a wrap on this episode of Let's Play Stardew Valley. Next time, summer will begin, and we'll have a marriage upcoming with Alex. So stay tuned. See you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to check out another Let's Play I did, check out my Super Mario World Let's Play for the Super Nintendo by clicking here in the top left. If you'd like to check out my Minecraft server Avius, click here in the top right. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you like what you've seen so far and you have yet to subscribe, click the big banner below.